some more Max Payne or oh, as I like to call him a high amount of, of anguish Funky man from Funky Chinatown. Everybody was going for fun. Those kids were fast and slow. Show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa. Easy, pal, easy. Vem. Apparently, someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. They were well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. You okay? Yeah. All right, let's go. There's got to be a first aid kit around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember. But this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message. Trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I just yeah. severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. Ah. 
At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. Come on, Max! The guy with the bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on. I think he went this way. Everybody was gone. So this was it. My easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention... ...in any of this shit. See there, Grandpa. <laughs> Come on. I'm getting flashbacks. That wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah. Back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. The wedding we did in Aruba. Dumb sport. <sighs> hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. Okay, bro. Yeah, just Never go check it down. Whose idea was this anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, uh, Is it bad? Uh, it could be a lot worse. Here. Thank you. Uh, right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve on. Come on. Uh, All right. Don't be a pussy. So what now? We make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell do you think that was? Tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. Sao Paulo. Anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. So what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we get these Comando Sombra their money. And make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back in such good shape. Come on, come on. Asos had done a good job with the bandage, and an even better job with the pills. I couldn't feel my arm anymore. I couldn't feel much of anything, which was the way I liked it. Yeah. 
So what am I, the button pusher? Yeah. You're so good at it. Good job. Just another day at the office, huh? You should have known this wouldn't end well. Uh, didn't even begin well. It was hardly a textbook hostage exchange. I guess I must have skipped that class. Okay, come on. Let's go. Don't they want to do it? Where the hell's he going? What we got here? Do you have the money? No. But he might be able to tell us what the fuck is going on. Heads up. Here comes friends. Something tells me we're heading in the right direction. Trophies and game plans. It had been a very long time since I'd had one of either. You gonna do this? It didn't sound like we were the only ones getting shot at. Who the hell had tipped these guys off? I didn't know what to think anymore. This town had more smoke and mirrors than a strip club locker room. Last rights, don't you think? Get this flat job. this back this is high-end gear these guys are seriously financed yeah, I noticed I'll get you one for Christmas come on let's keep moving we've still got a sniper on us we get to him, for with him first I only got one shoulder left there's no time the money will be long gone you gotta stay on the guy with the bag I might have written a book on dumb ideas but Passos sure wasn't afraid to quote from it
Luckily for us, the blood money was still bleeding. What? I heard these soccer players weren't good with pain. What the fuck is the blood stain though? What's he saying? Open the bag, show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa. Easy, pal, easy. Vem. Apparently, someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. We were well armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. Miss me. You okay? Yeah. All right, let's go. There's gotta be a first aid kid around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember. But this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message. Trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Right. Or maybe I just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way. Like any I was failing fast. You don't want to watch your Kardashians? Man. The Kardashians. At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. Ever the optimist. Come on, man, let's go. Shut the fuck up. The guy with the bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on. I think he went this way. So this was it. My easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. You poor people. Come on, don't give up on me now, bro. Tell me what to give up on. Hold on, wait here a second. See there, Grandpa. Come on. I'm getting flashbacks to that wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah. Back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. <laughs> oh, you got a lot of nuts. So in your face. Dumb sport. Hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. Okay, bro. You'll okay, get bro, better. Bro. Whose idea was this anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, 
What the fuck did the chill do to you? It could be a lot worse. Yeah. Thank you. Let's give me some pain medication. Right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve on. Come on. Ah. All right. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> so what now? Man up. We make sure that the right clowns get the money. You've been shot by high caliber rifle. Who the hell do you think that was? Tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. Uh, anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. So what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we get these Commando Sombra their money and make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back with such good shape. Come on, come on. Sao Paulo lived and died this day. <sighs> that day more than most. Come on, get out of here! Right, I need my medicine. Passos had done a good job with the bandage, and an even better job with the pills. I couldn't feel my arm anymore. I couldn't feel much of anything, which was the way I liked it. Our three million dollar man had locked the doors behind him. Let's see if this thing works. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, so. I knew it was still cut fucking damage. Okay, let's say this is point three, they put out. It's checkpoint three? What the fuck? Okay, I guess so. I shot, I shot him, my friend. Hey. 
The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. This looked like goodbye. Down here? But there ain't much left of you! Shit! <laughs> See what's waiting outside for us. Well, it ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. Why not? Let's go outside. thought about saying the cops, but yeah. this was no time for bad jokes. Yeah. Okay, now we can continue. Second, I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia. Ela se está aí? O que que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? Yeah. I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. <laughs> yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for her. She's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Becker. Até logo, senor Branco. So many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife, 
I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just muscle, another rich muscle, fool. Muscle, muscle, just muscle. Like the rest of my friends. Muscle. Com licença, tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Sei também, eu tenho. Ben Cup wanting a pension contribution. <laughs> you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, just a second. I need water. Water for my soul. Don't punish me. People can heal. Look at me. I'm a mess. Tell him Max Payne you're a mess. Oh, Deus. Si, pode entrar. Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building, and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. There's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything really, back online. The server, there is no way Pay a couple the... million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. All you got was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. What's going on? Shit's the hitting now, the fan. <laughs> shit is hitting the fan! Guess what? I am shit. You're in my house, bitches! Let's go, come on. Okay, I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. Max! Shut up. I'm okay. such a that shit. That was the office Victor used to fabricate Bronco. See? They'd been keeping an eye on Fabiana from afar. Shame they'd been more interested in supposed infidelities than thugs sizing her up for a snatch. Over here, Max. Give me a second, I'm looking for stuff. I'm a self-righteous pain in the ass, but I'm not above embezzling office supplies. Let's do this together! <laughs> Let's do this together! Get us into the boardroom. Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, Really? Are we dead? No such luck. 
gotta go. It's through here. This way, stick by me. I won't stick by you. You have dead meat written all over you. Sunday at the office. No one else would need these. Are we going, Max? Yeah, we're going. Just a second. Also. It was a lot shinier than a favela, and rent would be easier to collect. Maybe Bronco would take pity on all the poor bastards who got evicted. I just had to keep him alive to find out. <laughs> I destroyed that. This is the way! Oh, this is the way! See? Guns solve everything. The server room is just past those cubicles. Yeah, keep your head down. Come with me, scaldy pants. These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Cracha Prado, the black badge. Right wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? Okay. What? You didn't? Server back online. Can Not we just spend scratch. a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone. Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Not even a Poor scratch on me. Scared God shitless. Damn. But I thought we'd seen the worst of it. I'm good. Okay. The the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hmm? I got hit. I just damn. I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Mm -hmm. Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Well. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. 
What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system was back online. Fuck. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? <laughs> Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Uh, second. Uh, keep going to thank you. I missed. <sighs> Fuck me. Max! Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay lock put. yourself down. Let Stay us put. take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max! Try not to completely destroy the place. <laughs> Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! Let's concentrate on staying alive. There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building for what that was worth. I want to start that level. I think we ever had much of a chance. No one told me. Jesus. I heard that. I heard that. A dame, a dork, and a drunk. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia. Alicia, está aí? O que que senhor acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save... I... I... I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because Everybody, we are rich and happy. Us. Is that a good reason to hate us? Yeah. I do a lot of good in this town. A no, lot! This is hell for me. Just the drugs. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Franco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Yeah. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. <laughs> yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. Uh, had a heart attack visiting a brothel. This is Jesus. This is the end for her. She's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. I can almost I ask. Almost. Maybe. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you, but things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker, senor, let us give you a ride. Bon. Até logo, senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Yeah, please talk about, logo, please please stop talking about me behind my back, you son of a... I had so many plans, Max. Yeah. I was gonna be a all. contender. I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, you only see money. Now my wife, I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Nah, you're a sex machine. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Maybe, maybe not. Con licença. Tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. 
Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? No, it feels popular because the flies mate on it. Look at me. I'm a mess. What's that going to sound? Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that! Ativaba. We got men entering the building, and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars, and you expect to, to push a button. <laughs> Be able to, to make all your problems go away. My God, what's so no, that's, useless that's, junk? That's for what drugs are for. False confidence. I'm not Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office. Lock yourself in. Do Bring not something. answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the Let's server go. room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Best level now behind the desk. My now, phone. <laughs> The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. Hey, it's up to three points. It's where you start from. Shut up. That was the office Victor used at Fabricas Bronco. I didn't That's have it. time to thumb through the old phrase book Portuguese, but it looked like Victor was asking for campaign contributions. Rodrigo yes. held the family purse strings, and by the looks of it, he held them pretty tight. Over here. Okay, yeah. Nice. Oh, missed it last time. Yeah. See, you made me nervous, and I lost it. Rodrigo is waiting! Rodrigo is waiting and so is my habit. This code should get us into the boardroom. Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah, oh shit! Get 
these clowns were the same guns for hire. Okay. Yeah. Second. Second gun. Die. Where's one Sam? Where's one Sam? Over here, Max. Someone fell. this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. I got shot there to hell and back. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our family. Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Max is a killer. No way, not two ways around it. Max! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building for what that was worth. Let's see, he's, he's a kill. Imagine being half, just half there mentally and still being able to destroy everything around him. I'm a self-righteous pain in the ass, but I'm not above embezzling office supplies. was dead shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time
Oh, really?
How can you kill which one who is so Like we'd seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. I 
has destroyed everything here. I didn't know what the hell I was gonna find up there, but I sensed it wasn't gonna be a stripper bursting out of a cake. <laughs> Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm gonna try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad. The little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 Of course, he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why did everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, Something caught my eye. Figures. Only blind luck it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. Lucky son of a bitch ever. When this is lucky, no, you. Perfect. If I wasn't immolated, I was gonna get crushed to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. So nice job, Max. Shit. If I survive this, it'd be a victory for gross incompetence. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. No one would be rebooting his system. Poor bastard. <laughs>
Rodrigo or not, Fabricas Bronco is falling apart quite literally. He had bullets in his gun. He should have shot himself and ended the pain. was to use that filing cabinet. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey! Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? We came to kill you! Because of what you did to us! <laughs> you killed so many of us! What no reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where is Fabiana? Fabiana Bronco, where is she? That Commando Sombra got her up the hill. Then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. This guy decided to save. Thank you for everybody who joined me today. I'm gonna go sleep.